Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome, welcome back to episode 8 of Project Nations and this is going to be one of the last episodes I upload on the YouTube channel because I want to take this series and go over on Twitch with it because it's going to be perfect to live stream during the week. It's one of those that is engaging, it gets you involved, you can help me build the teams and it is really a gamble right now because we have a decent amount of coins but the market is unstable. You don't want to go and invest all of those coins in an inform to not be able to sell them on? Is it a little bit of a risk to use them in the lower divisions? That's why if I was to stream this during the week, it gives me something to do. And then at the weekend, we wait for that foot chance content. So that's the decision that I'm gonna be going with. And if you wanna keep up to date to know exactly when I'm gonna be streaming this series, follow my Twitter, link in the description. And that's really the best place uh, to keep connected and ask me any questions hit it up over there or in the comment section of this video. So in the last one, we did use that England uh, team. Pittman, absolute beast, 24,750. Without him, I don't know where the goals would have come from. Vardy did underperform. It was okay, but he underperformed. Where was uh, Lingard? Uh, Jesse Lingard, I don't know where, maybe I, oh no, there he is. Uh, Jesse Lingard, 2,600 coins. He missed a fair share but eventually got that hat trick. So yeah, most of the players did sell on and I bought him for maybe a little bit too much. Let's list him up one more time uh, because that was uh, in the result of getting the red card. I had to go and purchase a bronze. Oh, that was the punishment. But today we are building an Italian team. And like I said, I don't wanna go too crazy. We're not even in division five yet for the rule change. So this team looks basic, but pretty strong. Let's go and take a look. So the World Cup is officially over and there was one team that didn't even qualify. Italy. And for me personally, it didn't really have the same vibe. It was still enjoyable to watch. Unpredictable, crazy events. Just madness, really. And do you believe that France were the rightful winners? A lot of youngsters and a lot of potential. Like, their team is so young and they've won the World Cup. What are they going to be like in four years' time? It's scary for the other squads and the other nations uh, taking part in the competition, but there you go. So we have put together a 4-4-1-1 Italian squad, and we have some of the most overpowered players we've ever seen on any ultimate team. These two in particular, Ogbonna, if you know, you know. And then Abate in that right back position was one of my favorite right backs of all time on Ultimate Team. Uh, Perrin recently transferred over to Juve, so he's gonna be expensive. And then because of the SBC, it's driving these player prices up, 4,003. We have a Jorginho that's completed his move to Chelsea, which is gonna be awesome to see him in the Premier League. De Rossi, one of my all-time favorites. And I've used him before, his stamina does suck, but with the player instructions, I've told him to stay back. So that gives the license to, for Jorginho to go up and down the pitch. Jovinko is gonna stay central, the little baby. How tall is he? Five foot four, that high though. 700 coins though for an 83, I like that. Not a bad little snipe. Bellatelli. <laughs> Can he really hold the line low to low work rates? If it doesn't work in this formation, I'm gonna switch out to a four triple two. So hopefully, fingers crossed it does. Are you guys ready? Let's go and smash it. I'm gonna give you guys updates actually with the division. Right boys, so we had a fresh start in the last episode in Division 6. We got three points on the table and our percentages are looking fantastic. We are still yet to lose. Let's not jinx it. Moving into the first game, here we go. What are we saying boys for the first game? Is that team stronger than ours? I would say so. Overall, pretty good. De Rossi's there. What is a Bonner doing? Oh, my team. Now he's going to run all the way. That's fair enough. If my player doesn't. I am so confused right now. I'm trying to get a position. Uh, sorry, a formation change down right now. Otherwise, this is an absolute rip. They're just not rip. I've got a penalty. 94 penalties. This has to go in. Thank God. Yes, Bernadeschi. Good play. Balotelli, can he move? Oh, that has set up. Thank you. How have we not conceded in this game? It's beyond me. This team is the worst team that we've used so far in the series. I think it's a mixture of bad gameplay today and this squad. That 
That's so dangerous. Let's go. Come on, straight from kickoff. We can get our third goal, maybe. Turn, please. El Shirari turn. This is the quickest El Shirari's turn. And I swear to you, I swear to God, I've never had it this bad before. Yo, pass over hit. Bro, this team is literally, it sucks. I don't want to go into a third game or a second game even. But turn. Oh. El Shirari. Oi. Two goals for El Shirari. Let's get a third. Good ball. Is that El Shirari? Yes. Oh, please. Please. Yes. Come on. That feels so good. Let's go. How have I done that, man? Three goals in this game. Four goals. Four goals in this game with this team and the connection. I can't believe it. We've actually scored four goals. Let's go. And a rage pick. Come on, man. I think I am going to switch up into the 4 triple 2 straight away. That 84 Mbappe, though. 19 years old. Won the World Cup. Go on, El Shirari. That's it. Keep running. Give it straight over to him. A little dink. Back to El Shirari. Has he got five-star skills still? I don't think he has. Whoa. Juvinko. That was an okay turn. I can't get the acceleration with Juvinko right now. Balotelli. El Shirari. He's literally like the go-to go player in our attack right now. No, don't start lunging. God's sake. Here we go. That's fine. Balotelli, please. Believe in Ballo. Go on, Benedeski. I don't really have that much pace in my side, to be fair. Let's link up as best as we can. That little turn, Giovinco. Beautiful. On the swivel. Low driven. Don't let him through. What on De Rossi? Yes. De Rossi actually is holding it down. He's taking some questionable touches and he can't pass very well, but he's making some really good uh, tackles. Jivinko. Oh, please. Through ball. Oh, I was about to put a through ball in. That was a guaranteed goal. Let me get one from here then. Should I just take a, a free kick? Jivinko. Oh. Well, that was awful. That's it. Easy. I had to. What a goal from Benedeschi. I had to. I didn't have enough pace with Giovinco and I was going to get caught up. And because he's so weak, boom, he's going to get pushed down to the ground. Lovely pass. Find El Shirari. Little finesse. Oh my. 4 0. Another four goals. It doesn't even feel good. Four goals in this one, which pretty much guarantees the win. I hope. But we need a hat trick. Let's push. No. Oh, man. I just wanted to keep that clean sheet. Oh. Balotelli. Good turn. Ballo. He's the one. Like I said, believe in Ballo. Need him on the score sheet again. Balotelli. Get yourself into a nice position. Ballo. That's in. I'm on side. El Shirari. I think he does have five-star skills, El Shirari. That's a penalty. Yes. This is perfect. Balotelli. He didn't miss in the last game. He's not going to miss in this one. Here we go, Ballo. Same again. How has he actually moved out the way of that? The good thing about that result right there is that it guarantees at least one pack in today's episode. The next game, we need minimum two points. The last one that we're going to be playing in today's episode really weird he's got some non-rares though like that end diddy is overpowered i remember using him oh this is looking absolutely fantastic this is looking too oh, do you think again i can't stop hitting the post with that guy what the hell was that flick up from el shari was that a flick up or was it just a really bad touch he's there again though i need balatep I need Balotelli. Now, he's got a good shot, to be fair to him. 1-0. Come on. Only the one goal in this game. Nine shots in total. And seven of those were Jovinko. And he can't find the back of the net. Balotelli. This game. Two goals for Ballo. 
I need another one. Just seal it. Seal the deal. Get him to rage quit. At least we got a lifeline though, just in case he actually uh, scores the goal and ruins our clean sheet bonus. But I tell you, damn. He is nasty. He feels so powerful when he gets that shot off. I think I'm on side. Jirinko, please. I'll do one of my special chips. He likes them. Oh, all right, Jirinko. If that's the kind of shot that you want to take on, let's go. So in the end, it turned into the perfect game. Hat trick, clean sheet, win. We've got packs to open. Two packs. Let's get them. So we're still unbeaten in this series, which feels amazing. But let me tell you, that first game that I was in... It was probably the gameplay because in the second and third, it didn't feel as bad. But my good God, I could not link up. I could not pass. And that was a loss right there. We grinded it. We got the all important goals and we came away with the result. So let's open our two packs. The Italian team will get sold. The best player, though, would have to be Mario Balotelli. He had such a good finish. Giovinco, it was like similar to Jamie Vardy. He was choking his chance in the last game or didn't do enough. And I was expecting him to turn up. Giovinco just didn't. Uh, Benedeschi was pretty solid. Uh, El Shirai I was enjoying. Uh, Jorginho was okay. He had an average shot. Um, the rest of it, though. Uh, De Rossi, he just couldn't really do much apart from tackle. But that's all that he was really brought into the team to do. It was average, though. It was nearly, I think, probably was one of the worst teams that we've put together. We still haven't got a board. But with the rule change, once we hit Division 5, we'll have more FIFA points that we will earn uh, every single time we play with the side. So that will allow us to open special packs for the series. But Adrian, uh, he will s sell. I think most of this stuff, though, will go for quite a bit just because no one's opening packs, which is awesome. But anyway, boys, that is where I'm going to be ending today's episode. Leave a like. And like I said, if you want to keep up to date with when I'm going to be streaming this, look over on my Twitter page. Link in the description. Drop me a follow. I will see you guys tomorrow. Team out. Peace.